hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome and thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it today i am doing kind of a whole house clean i'm not really deep cleaning anything but the entire house needed to be tidied up and stuff needed to be put away and just some general cleaning needed to be done so uh get comfy enjoy and i hope this motivates you to get some cleaning done in your house Since I've now done over 20 videos, which I know is not a lot compared to some of the big channels out there, but for me it's a little bit of an important milestone because I'm new to this and I wasn't really sure how it was going to feel sharing more about my life since I am a pretty private person naturally, um, but I've really enjoyed it and you know along with hopefully motivating other people to do some cleaning in their house it's actually really been motivating for me to keep my house cleaner so it's been really nice in that regard but I thought maybe it was time to share some details about myself and my family so my name is Danielle obviously if you're here on my channel uh, I am a mom of two boys ages five and almost two my oldest is an SK and he's back at school now after I don't know if it's the fourth or the fifth lockdown where schools were closed and we were doing online homeschool so I think we're all happy even him I know his mental health seems better since he's back at school my youngest is home full-time with us we just haven't been comfortable with the idea of putting him in daycare with all this going on um, and also right now I'm only working part-time so my husband and I luckily have been able to kind of swap days where we're home with him and it's worked out pretty well so far I am a registered nurse and like I said I'm only part-time right now and my husband runs his own business so he can kind of make his own hours some weeks it's great we can really you know complement each other's schedules and make it work really well and other weeks we're like passing ships as i get home from work we quickly eat and then he leaves to go do a job um so some weeks are harder but it won't be forever and it's what works for us right now so we'll just you know take those growing pains as they come As a family, we strive to be as plant-based as possible. I would say that my husband, Andrew, is the most plant-based out of all of us. He's really good at sticking to it. Um, again, if you're a parent of small children, you know they can be pretty picky, so sometimes, just to make sure they're getting their calories and their nutrients, I will just go for cheese strings and yogurt and those kinds of things. But the kids, I would say, are probably about 80% plant-based and then I fluctuate depending on the day and just depending on how busy we are. And our motto is really just, you know, it really doesn't matter what we eat today and tomorrow, it matters what we eat over the next 20 years. So as long as we're always striving to be as healthy as we can and to cook as much as we can and use as many whole foods as we can, then I think, you know, we're happy with the choices that we're making. last thing I wanted to share is, uh, you know, mental health is a really big part of my world. Uh, I have an element of anxiety and I have panic disorder and I've had them both for going on 16 years now um, and it's a struggle and I'm really hoping 2022 can be my year where I really nail this exposure therapy thing and actually get myself into some really significant recovery because I do believe recovery is possible and there are really great resources uh, available and I really do hopefully want to share more with you guys over the course of this channel uh, both about my journey and just about things that I've learned in general both as a parent, as a human and as a nurse. 
because I definitely learn tips and tricks and, and things like that through my profession. So if you're struggling, please know you're not alone, especially, you know, if you're a mom and you're busy and you don't get a lot of time to yourself to work on your own mental health, I hear you, I see you, and I really do believe we can all get through this. It's just a matter of finding the right supports and the right resources and, and the right information because it's it can be really exhausting to have to sift through all of the information out, that's out there and know what is real and true and helpful and what is maybe more of a band-aid solution or something that's going to make you feel better in the short term but not in the long term. So hopefully you'll see a little bit more both of the plant-based, of the mental health, maybe a little bit more of nursing. I'm not quite sure how I'll incorporate that yet. And then just our everyday lives of being a family and raising young kids and trying to balance it all and constantly looking for ways to do life better and more authentically. watched my previous video I did show you this spider that had been in our window honestly since the summer he's been there for longer than six months and he was alive probably for four of those months I would say so he, this could have been done a long time ago but it was time to finally get rid of him I refused to touch him while he was alive because I have definitely got arachnophobia and my husband and my son didn't actually want to touch him they thought it wasn't fair we should leave him and let him live his life and he was actually catching a lot of bugs so I can't really complain but he was really gross to look at and there was this giant cobweb in the window so it was time it's 2022 <laughs> um, so it was time to vacuum that up and clean out this windowsill
One of the things I would love to do in 2022 is redo this kitchen. Um, it's not terrible, it's definitely outdated, I mean it needs a, a facelift for sure. Um, but there are some elements of it that just don't work very well that I would love to, to fix and just get a kitchen that really works for our family. Um, but I have learned the hard way not to put a deadline on these things because oh my goodness even though the days sometimes feel so long time just flies by I mean we're already at the end of January um so will this get done in 2022 I don't know I think it's really going to depend on the state of the world and the state of our family and what we've got going on so all I know is when we do eventually redo the kitchen, I will be filming it all for sure. So you will know when the time finally comes.
was going to do for the day was clean up Finn's room. It gets messy pretty fast. And his laundry needed to be done, his room needed to be vacuumed, the floor needed to be washed. I needed to really do everything. So I decided to tackle it all today and just get this room nice and clean. going to be it for today's video thank you so much for tuning in and watching thank you for supporting my channel I look forward to sharing more videos with you guys in the future whatever that's gonna look like something to do with this life that we're living and our attempts to you know make it a really authentic life that's very enjoyable um, and clean <laughs> So if you liked this video, I've got other ones that are similar. You can like any of them. You can subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get a video out once a week. Life does get in the way sometimes, so it's not always a guarantee, but that is what I'm striving for. So 
I hope you guys have a great day, a great weekend, a great end of your January, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.